install postman all okay, right so just go to postman.com slash downloads and um, let's try the web version because I have tried to install the um, the postman the desktop um, there are issues in in installing so um, I've tried the web version and it works for me so to uh, save time for you um, I recommend you just use the web version okay you sign up it's free and um, you confirm in your email so once you already have an account um, you are then going to okay so once you already have an account you are then going to create new okay you can create a new workspace or you can immediately create um, a get so again um, an API link it's actually a link wherein it has three parts first is the endpoint next would be the parameters and lastly would be the authentication key alright so as mentioned um, in my previous video that you really have to ask um, permission from the other website so that is why there is authentication key okay so um, so this is the, the the interface of postman collection where you can be able to test your API now let's go to open weather map and um, you need to sign up for this one um, you are going to um, in order to get their API so you're going to get API key so um, that's 60 calls per minute and then you're going to create your account and once you are um, done signing in yeah, um, this will then be your interface wherein you are going to have um, here in the right um, my API keys okay and um, okay let me just sign in all right so this will be your API keys and then um, you are going to generate um, API key here okay so for example app ID 2 okay and then it will um, add another key here authentication key here so um, as mentioned um, a while ago that an API should have endpoints so you're going to check in the documentation of um, of the data service website or open weather map how is or API to be used so when we say endpoint um, you can you can identify if it's the endpoint because it's usually the first um, first part of the API and it ends with the question mark so but um, it ends with the question mark question mark so that ends your endpoint so what are you going to do is you're going to copy that one in your in your postman you're going to copy that one in your postman and then next would be um, the parameters so Q okay, you can have an um, other variable but equals then the CT name all right so these are the the parameters so the Q is for the um, CT name state code and country code divided by comma all right and then you have here the um, app ID or the API key right and the rest is optional okay so for example example of api call is like this okay so here yeah so let's now have the um the parameters okay so that will be your parameters so you can also do that one here q and then your value will be london so i notice that is added here okay and then we're going to add um, app ID okay notice that it automatically add um, and sign okay and then you're going to copy your um, um, key okay so we have added our um, key API key so it is um, 404 so if you're going to check their documentation if you're going to check their documentation um, it says there that um, it could be that the 401 it could be that your API key 
you did not specify API key in API requests or your API key is not yet activated. So that is what I experienced last time yesterday. So I just waited for 30 minutes and then um, I then I wasn't able to use my API key. So within the next couple of hours it will be activated and ready to use. Okay, so you really have to check their um, documentation. Okay, let's try this one. The API key that I have used yesterday. Okay, alright, so you have noticed that um, uh, the return values is in JSON. So, JSON. Okay, so if you're going to check in their API documentation, it says there that the format, the default, the default format is in JSON. So that is what I have uh, mentioned to you that um, really the the, um, the most popular right now is the JSON. Next is the XML. Okay. So yeah, the default for map whether they have actually declared here that their default is JSON. Okay, so as you can see now, we now have... Um, the data of the open weather, alright? So we now have coordinates and weather data.